Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be seeing the question jump game part 4. Given an array of integers ARR, you are initially positioned at the first index and in one step you can jump from the index i to either i plus 1 or i minus 1 or an index j where the value at the index i and j are equal but the indexes are not equal. We need to return the minimum number of steps that would lead us to the last index of the array. Notice that you cannot jump outside of the array at any given time. For the first example, we can jump from 100 to this 100, then to 404 and to 404. So this gives up 1, 2, 3, that is 3 jumps. So the answer is 3. For the second example, we just have one element which is the start and the end. So we do not need to even jump. So the answer is 0. Similarly, for the third example, 7 is equal to the last element. So in one jump, we can reach the end index. And so are the other examples. The hint given here is we need to build a graph of n nodes where nodes are the indices of the array and edges for nodes i are the nodes i plus 1, i minus 1 and where array of i equal to equal to array of j. And the second hint states that start BFS from node 0 and keep the distance. Answer is the distance where you reach the node n minus 1. So now let's see how we can solve this question. Okay, so the first example, if we create a map with key as the number present and the value as the index in which it is present, we would get this kind of a map. So the key is 100 and value part which would give us the indexes where this value is found. So that whenever we want to jump, we can see that, okay, so at the fourth index also we have 100. So we can even jump to the fourth index too, apart from going to i minus 1 and i plus 1. So now with that, we'll take a queue, a queue wherein we will store the elements that we are going to process at each step. Since we are positioned at index 0, we'll add 0 in the queue and the steps would be 0 as we have not taken any of these steps till now. Now from here, we can go to different places. So we need to process all the possible jumps from this node in the queue and then add the subsequent index in the queue and return the steps once we have encountered the jump to last index. To state all the possible jumps at each step, I'll be marking with this vertical line over here. So starting is 0 from here we can jump to some other steps so now in the first step where we can jump we can jump to index minus 1 index plus 1 or the values in map which gives us index minus 1 which is minus 1 index plus 1 which is 1 and the values in map 0 and 4 so 0 is the current index and fourth one is this 100 from these minus 1 and 0 are not reachable and we can just reach to 1 and 4. So we put these in the queue. And now this marks the end of the positions we can reach in the first step. Now since we have already processed this 100, we will be removing the 100 from our map so that we do not process this again because there will be cases where we can get a TLE if we keep the processed index in map. For example, if all these are hundreds, we will keep on processing the i minus 1, i plus 1, i minus 1, i plus 1 and every other index multiple number of times and we will get a TLE. So for that reason, we are just removing this from our map. Now with this, we know that in the first step, we can reach to 1 and 4. Now in the next step where we can reach, so we will be popping an element out of the queue and calculating the jumps from that particular index. So for that, since we are calculating the second step, we do step equal to step plus 1 and we find the steps from the first index which is minus 23. We can go to 0 or 2 or 1 but 0 and 1 are not reachable so we will add 2 in the queue. Now we will again remove minus 23 from our map. Next we will go to fourth index. So from fourth index we can go to minus 1 plus 1 and we could have also gone to index 0 but since 100 is not present in the map we would not be going to 100 or index 0 since it is already removed from the map. So here we'll add 5 and 3 in our queue. Now since we have already 
got the places where we can jump in step 2 we are going to find where we will be ending up in step 3 so we do a step plus plus and we start processing our indexes from 2 we can reach to 3 so we add 3 from 5 we can reach to 6 and 7 so we add these two and from 3 we can reach to 9. Now here we can see that 9 is indeed our last index and so here we will be returning 3 which is minimum steps that we would be needing to reach the index 9 or the last index. So we return 3. That's all about the theory part. Now let's start coding this. Okay. So in the start we will take a variable n that would store array.length and if this n is 1 we would return 0 which is our base case for example 2. With this we will take a map. This map will contain integer and a list and we will take a step which would give us 0. Finally we are going to return step. So we will write this also over here. Now first step is fill the map. So, we take a for loop. In this for loop, we would add values in map. So, it, we would be using the function compute if absent. What this function is doing is, it sees if array of i is present or not. If it is not present, so it would create a new array list and if it is already present we would add index in it so this will give us the map next what we need is we would need a queue in this queue we would add our first index which is 0 and then we would loop while this queue is not empty So while this queue is not empty, first step we do is we increment our steps as we are finding the jump to a next index. So we do a step plus plus and we'll take the size at this point of time. So size equal to q dot size. Now for each element in this queue for this particular size, we would be running a loop. So for int i equal to 0, i less than size, i plus plus. So here we are going to perform three steps that is jump to j minus 1, jump to j plus 1 and jump to an index k wherein array of j is equal to equal to array of k. So this we are going to get from the map. The very first step in this for loop is getting the element from the queue on which we will be performing the operations that is finding the next jump. So that would be j. Okay. So now we would check if this j minus 1 is greater than 0 because we do not want to cross the bounds. So if j minus 1 is greater than equal to 0 and map contains this element map dot contains key array of j minus 1 then only we will perform the operations. So we add this in the queue. Similarly, if j plus 1 is less than n and if that is there in the map, then there can be two conditions. Either this j plus 1 is equal to the last element. So we check that to j plus 1 is equal to n minus 1 if that is the case return steps or else add in q now the third is the one that we will be taking from the map so here if this map contains if this particular element is not processed we iterate over each k in in this we first check if k is not equal to j because the position should not be equal to the same position on which we are there. If that is the case we can see check if k is equal to n minus 1 
return step otherwise put it in the queue after we are done processing all the reconditions we will remove this from the map so that's all let's run this code and we are getting a right result let's try for other test cases also that's it we are getting the right result let's submit this code and there it got submitted the time complexity of this code is o of n the space complexity also is o of n so thanks for watching our video see you in the next one